Are we on? We're on! This is cool. Three, two, one. It's seven o'clock. Okay, so everybody in California, do you know what time it is? <laughs> everybody in Central Time Zone, do you know what time it is on the Eastern? Man, did I get excoriated about giving everybody an education about this. All right, here we go! This is the first song from Songs from the Canyon. Those of you who uh, remember Songs from the Canyon, this was song number one. This got it all started. Here we go. Facebook Live, let us know. Uh, Spring Canyon is a really special place, and I wrote that song in Pioneer Cabin in 1986. Whew! And that was at 9,100 feet above elevation, so uh, unbelievable. Cool! Going to do a lot of old songs tonight. Some of these are going to be brand new for a lot of you uh, that are just... <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen to me, man. I'm so out of breath. <sighs> See, if I was in Korea right now, we'd be at sea level, right? You know? Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, some of these are brand new for some of you. I get it. Hang with me. You're going to hear a little bit of stuff for everybody musically. But the message tonight is very clear. Uh, it's, it's all my gospel stuff, all my Christian stuff. And uh, that I sang for the troops all over the world, working with Japans, gosh, five continents, over 100 installations at least. In fact, there's probably many, many more than that. And most of those we went back to time after time after time again. So anyway, here we go. This one's called, With a God Like That, Who's Gonna Mess With You? Seems like the devil's gonna be messing with you again. The more you try to be right, you keep falling in. At times it seems like it's all calling out on you. Sin just scares you down. set up for tonight, okay? And I honestly kind of, for tonight, I kind of hate the word tip jar. 
uh, then it actually go better uh, with the concert I'm going to do on August 14th, which is going to be a piano bar type format. But nevertheless, it is a virtual tip jar, and I'm, we got everything canceled this year, just like everybody else. Everything. In fact, we were sponsoring and hosting a, a retreat for worship leaders called Recalibrate Renew. Cancel it. Had to cancel everything with COVID. So here we are. Be generous tonight, okay? And one of the reasons we want you to be generous is we are giving a portion of everything you guys give tonight online uh, to Spring Canyon. We want to help out Spring Canyon Conference Center. Spring Canyon is owned and operated by a great ministry called Officers Christian Fellowship. Everybody out there with OCFs going, yoo-hoo, right? There you go. Anyway, OCF has been uh, really a family to, uh, to us uh, through all these years and a, and a great, great source of networking, but they're more than that. We love them. And uh, uh, they're, they're a wonderful bunch of folks, officers, active duty and retired officers in our military, all branches. And uh, they uh, start Bible studies and fellowship groups and all this kind of stuff, no matter wherever they're stationed. Listen, I ran into OCF people in Kuwait, in Iraq, on, on ships, uh, at sea with the Navy that I performed on. Um, they're everywhere. And they're just people who love other people and want to walk with God as they're serving our country. So it's kind of cool. It's a very, very great ministry. It's been around since World War II. Anyway, Spring Canyon is their Rocky Mountain home for conferences each, each summer. So a portion of everything you give tonight uh, on the virtual tip jar is going to go to Spring Canyon. So help us out. Be generous. If you can be generous, do it. Um, you can find the Venmo address and PayPal, whichever you have, Venmo or PayPal. Just go on, leave some money. It'd be great. Uh, we would appreciate it as well as uh, I know Spring Canyon would really appreciate it. So uh, in the description, in the event thing that you have your event page, in the description are the links for Venmo and for PayPal. So I'll mention that a couple of couple other times tonight, I'm sure. So, all right, so back to Songs from the Canyon, the very first album. This song came from just, uh, I don't know, just some Bible reading I was doing. I was reading one of the letters called First John, and this is what emerged. These are just selected verses, all woven together in this song. I just call it First John, or Let the Light In. It goes like this.
love his brother true. Want to be one free that also came from another, uh, just sitting around reading the Bible. I'd say there's so much there. People go, read the Bible from start to finish. I've never done that. I mean, I've read the whole thing, but it's been in bits and pieces because the Bible is just a collection of a whole bunch of letters, writings, poetry. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in there. And um, this came from the Psalms, this next one. This was Psalm 119, verse 133, is what the chorus is based on. And uh, the, the verse actually says this. It's, it's a prayer that David, I think King David wrote this, and he said, Establish my footsteps in your word. And that's interesting because Jesus said, If you do my words, you will, you will have life. Do, do what I say is like building your house on a firm foundation. And uh, so David's praying that, I mean, <laughs> so many years before Christ ever walked the earth and said basically the same thing. He said, I am the word and do my word and you will live and you'll find an abundant life if you do my word. So anyway, David's writing this long before that. And he says, establish my footsteps in your word, O God, and don't let my sin have dominion over me. Boy, good prayer, eh? So it goes like this. The chorus is real singable. Uh, those of you who, who know the record, you know it. Just sing it right there where you are, okay? And uh, as it goes, as it comes around, as the chorus comes around. If you don't know it, it's really, really easy uh, to learn because it repeats. <laughs> so it goes like this. Establish my footsteps in your Your word is 
Choose the darker way when the light is given freely for the taking. So hold my hand and help me, Lord, to stand, even when the darkness overtakes me. And establish my footsteps in the way. switch everything a little bit. Okay. You'll do a couple of songs from the very first album again. Songs from the canyon. You know, you want to get some of this music, that's great. I mean, it's on Spotify. Just put my name in. It's on iTunes. You can purchase some of this stuff on iTunes. And um, Quite honestly, it's, these recordings are pretty old, but we, I wrote the songs in the singer-songwriter style because I didn't want them to be, I didn't want them to be dated. And uh, I, want them, I wanted them to be able to go from generation to generation if possible. So, and, and, the, and the truths that are here, again, are, are based on certain verses that I read in the Bible, like this one. This song is called Forget and Reach. And the reason it's called that is because it comes from the letter that Paul wrote to the Philippians called Philippians. It's a letter, and it's only divided into four little chapters. It's very simple. It's very uh, short, and but it's extremely profound. There's a lot of really great profound stuff in there. One of the things is this: ver these verses that this song is based on found in the third chapter of Philippians. Basically, it's this. Here's the, here's the whole, I'll just sing the song. I hate it when people talk about, the song says this. It's like, just sing the song. Basically, the song says we are given permission to forget about our past and move on. How's that? This is called Forget and Reach. Oh, 
Some of you remember that song. Brian Sparling, if you're on here tonight, I know that that song meant a lot to you. It meant a lot to me, too. Still does. Still does. In so many ways. Again, songs from the king. They say I march to a different drama. I need to get my feet back on the ground. They don't understand why I don't fit their plan. A square peg won't fit the hole that's round. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Here we go. All right, some of you can wait for this one. <sighs> no, it's not. I gotta have feet.
They say there's too many churches here in this town. I like it that way, so I can just go make the rounds. I like what I like, long as it don't get too deep. I'm a saint of the nineties, American interdenominational, bless me, club free. Every week, and when it gets dull, I'll just go down the street and sing. I like a professional. Oh, when the choir sounded so sweet. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm a humble and hello, dusty bottle and mingle. Bless me, club free. Bless me, card in, and bless me for when I. All about. Bless me when I'm good Bless me when I sin But don't be asking for my time I've already been I like when the preacher Don't talk about time but I gave 10% back in 1995 I speak with my money That's right That's my ministry That's it Bless me, club free. me to go, I ain't gonna open my mouth, there might be mosquitoes, you know, and I can't stand that southern heat, cause I like it, air conditioning when I go to church, I'ma bless me, blood free. Thank you. 
album Seasons End. And uh, this one did too. <laughs> this one has been sung at graduation ceremony. In fact, I wrote this for high school graduates and college graduates, namely high school graduates. And uh, But this song has been sung at weddings. Um, anywhere where somebody's leaving. It goes like this. is the truth. 
All right. Hey, listen, just want to remind you to please leave something on uh, on the virtual tip jar for us, okay? We really appreciate that. Like all other artists and speakers and workshop leaders, etc., uh, and singer-songwriters, um, our years kind of changed a lot. So please, please leave us. Uh, it'd be generous tonight. That would be great. And uh, don't forget, don't forget that uh, a portion of everything you give tonight is going to help out uh, our favorite conference center in the world, Spring Canyon, up in the up in the Central Rocky Mountains. Go to springcanyon.org, springcanyon.org, and check them out. I'm, I'm telling you guys, if you've never been there, you're going to flip out. Karen Henderson, a good friend of mine, who hopefully is watching tonight, said to me over Facebook today, she goes, you know what Spring Canyon is? When you drive on to Spring Canyon, it's like God hugs you. <laughs> I mean, it's just, that's the way it feels. It's awesome. Awesome stuff. So, for those of you that are old school and want to give, but you don't have Venmo or PayPal, okay, that's like intimidating to you. You're like, you're like old, uh, I, you know, I mean, I'm not that old, but because I dig pay, PayPal and Venmo. In fact, I like Venmo better. But anyway, you can always give by going to my website, Danny Byram, D-A-N-N-Y-B-Y-R-A-M, DannyByram.com. Just go to any page on the bottom. There's a donation button. It'll take you straight to PayPal, and you can give that way as well, okay? Um, but these three concerts that I'm doing, um, this is the first of three. And uh, the other two are two weeks apart. I'm going to be right back here in two weeks, Friday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, Rocky Mountain Time, 7 p.m., to do nothing but hymns, the old hymn arrangements. And we're not going to do them the way your grandma did them, okay? We're going to do them my way. And I did two albums full of those. Did 20, we recorded 20 hymns. We're going to do a bunch of those, but I'm also going to do some other ones that I haven't recorded that I've used in a lot of group settings. And we get young people that come up and go, Dude, like, where did you get that arrangement? You know, we would really love to do that at our church. Well, it's mine. So you got to come to this concert in two weeks to hear those. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then two weeks after that, August 14th, right here at my piano in my living room at 7 o'clock Rocky Mountain time, we're going to do a piano bar, okay? It's going to be Billy Joel, Elton John, Gordon Lightfoot, The Beatles, Simon and Garfunkel, James Taylor, I mean, Kenny Loggins. There's just, we're going to do the songs called The Baby Boomer Songbook. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That one could go two hours. I mean, it just could. Because that's the music where I grew up and cut my teeth on. And a bunch of you did too. And you know what's amazing? With all this Venmo, I mean, not Venmo, but uh, with all of this uh, Spotify stuff that's out right now. I mean, the kids today know this stuff. They know the, the songs of like Harry Chapin and, and some of these great, great songwriters. And of course, Taylor, JT. They know this stuff. So... Man, invite your friend. This is that night is going to be the night you want to have your sweetie next to you and snuggle because it's going to be a romantic evening. It'll be a lot of fun. So that's uh, August fourteenth. So anyway, there's kind of the schedule of the songs from my living room. I hope you guys are having a good time tonight. I hope you're getting some encouragement and some hope in these crazy, crazy days that we're living in right now. Um, kind of, kind of, kind of nutty time, isn't it? I want to do a song for you that uh, that I wrote uh, that was on a later album of mine called High Places. And uh, this is a favorite. Uh, it's, it's honestly one of my favorites of all the ones that I've done. Um, because it kind of tells the whole story from start to finish. Uh, of, of really the whole story of, of God's redemption and, and, of, and of everything that, that, that the Lord did. All in three and a half minutes on, four minutes on. So here we go. This is called He Was Thinking of Me. Abram, you 
Here's the title cut of that album, High Places. This comes from Habakkuk, the third chapter. For all of you Baptists, you call it Habakkuk. Whatever. Habakkuk, the third chapter. Here we go.
Though the mind refuses to season And the yield of the iron should fail Though the trees cast their fruit for no reason And the flock is scattered from the field I will rejoice for the Lord is my strength I will rejoice in the God of my salvation God reigns in glory, the author of my story. He makes me walk on high, high places. Though the war be closed in around me, though my heart may lose its resolve, though my enemy try to stand me, while my friends wonder if I. I will rejoice for the Lord is my strength. I will rejoice for the Lord is my salvation. I will rejoice in the God who reigns in glory, the author of my soul.
drink from the spring that flows from above. Come on to him, ye weary and worn. Come to the king. Come be reborn. That was one of the first songs I wrote at Spring Canyon as well. Kind of became the theme, but uh, really sweet, sweet place. Angela and I met there. We got married there. Our kids have served on staff there for years. Uh, of course, they're not kids anymore, but when they were kids, they did. And uh, just just a great experience. So go to springcanyon.org. Check out Spring Canyon. And everything you give on the virtual tip jar tonight, go to the description and find how you can give on Venmo and you can give on PayPal. A portion of what you guys give tonight is going to go to Spring Canyon to help them get through the COVID crisis. Time to tune it up. We're going to do I Can Do All Things, all right? It's interesting because so many people have uh, taken that verse uh, out of Philippians. This is another Philippians song, but Philippians, the fourth chapter, the 13th verse, 4 13, it's a big memory verse for tons of people. Even people who aren't Christians love to memorize that verse because the verse says this I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. And, and it's true and it's great. But what's interesting is the two verses prior to that. And the context behind what Paul is, where Paul is writing that letter, he's writing it from prison. He's in prison. He's awaiting trial. And he's, uh, he's writing these letters to the different churches. And he says this, I've learned to be content no matter where I am. Really? I mean, what a relevant thing to talk about during this crisis that we are going through in not just our nation, but in the whole world right now. I mean, the world is turned upside down. Everybody knows that, right? And so this is, the, this is amazing that, that Paul's in prison and he writes these words. He says, I have learned to be content in every circumstance that I've been in. I know how to have a little. I know how to have a lot. I have learned the secret of being filled or going hungry, of having abundance or suffering need. And then he says the big lie. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, it kind of changes it, doesn't it? If you just take verse 13, it's all about us. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But that's not really not the context behind the verse. Paul's talking about being content in every circumstance. Now, guys, listen. I'm sitting here reciting this, and I'm having problems being content right now, myself. I am having problems being content with a lot of different things that are going on in my life. But... As a Christian and as a believer, I, I have a great source. I have the source of living water to go back to, and that's, and that's the words of Jesus and the Bible and, and God's Word. And, and just prayer, you know, and just, just praying and, and, and trusting, trusting God. Um, yeah, I'm like you. I want to flee the mountains sometimes. I just want to flee and, and to places like Spring Canyon and just go, I just, I just, I want to get away from it all. I want to get away from my problems. I want to get away from the things I'm doing. I want to get away from COVID. I want to get away from all this stuff. But this is what we're living through right now. This is real. And is there really strength to be found? There is. And it's, sometimes it's not in us. 
It is outside of us. It's by going to prayer and asking God, would you please give me the strength to get through this? Give me the strength not just to get through it, but give me the strength to be content in every circumstance that I'm in. This song is simply called I Can Do All Things, and it's from Philippians chapters, verse four, uh, chapter 4, verses 11, 12, and 13. I know how to be rich. I know how to be poor. I know how to be filled. wrapping it up. It's 8.15. You guys have been with me. Those of you who have been with me have been with me for an hour and 15 minutes. Can you believe it? I want to do a new song for you. This is one that was, has not been recorded yet. And who knows? Maybe someday, maybe someday I may do an evening of just all new songs that you've not heard. Okay? Um, and maybe we ought to raise mine to do a new record. Who knows? But anyway, that's, different. that's a different story. But this is, uh, this is a new song. And uh, for, for all of us, and I may forget the words, I don't know. 
<clears throat> but we'll see. But this is called Every Day. And, uh, we're, and then after that song, I'm going to do one more at the piano. And some of you know what that one is. Uh, it's, it's kind of a good final song. But, uh, um, man, I really, really appreciate you guys joining me tonight. Um, and this, this is going to be on my Facebook pages uh, for the next, uh, you know, number of weeks, etc. So if you want to catch it again, you can. Or you can share this, obviously. You can share. That's the beautiful thing about these Facebook Live things. You can share them with people. And uh, sometimes you get, you know, we'll even get a bigger audience with, uh, you know, with those that uh, that wind up uh, getting getting the shared, uh, you know, by friends and stuff. So. Some of them, you know, maybe pretty, 
somewhat traditional, but we're not going to do them choral style. So, but that next concert's July 31. Mark it down. Two weeks. We'll see you two weeks from tonight. This is the final song tonight. Guys, thanks. Thanks so much for coming. Here's the words of Jesus to the disciples at the Last Supper. Also to those who are on Mount All of Olives, the first chapter of Acts. But these are his words to us, even now.
Thanks, guys. God bless every one of you. Thanks for joining me tonight. Again, please leave us something at, uh, at Venmo, PayPal, at the virtual tip jar, and we're going we're gonna to give a portion of that to Spring Canyon to help them out this year as well. Hey, you're not alone. You're not alone during this time. It's a crazy time, but you're not alone, okay? God bless you. Thanks. We'll see you in two weeks, July 31, for the hymns. Don't miss it.